What it is, ho? Oh, what's up? I heard Anna Mac got beat up. What it is, ho? Oh, what's up? I heard Nunu got beat up. Girl! Cause it's, it's too many different stories for me, but we're just gonna go, child, we're gonna get into it. What's good? What's up, Messy Mob? It's your girl, Messy Maya, and I am back again with another video. So today we're gonna be getting into some mess concerning the reunion, child. Yes, I got some more reunion tea for y'all, child. One hoe said she beat somebody up. The next hoe said she beat this hoe up. The girl, the reunion host is saying this hoe got beat up. It's just a lot to get into. And girl, our girl Biggie, girl chat, we're gonna get into her, okay? Because she's still on some punk shit, and I'm just, I'm just not here for a child. Let's get into the mess. Okay, child, so we all seen this beef unfold on camera between Anna Mac and Nunu, child. Okay, when Nunu stuck her nose in Anna Mac and Mariah Lynn business after Mariah Lynn fake ass, and I still cannot believe that nobody is clocking that little hoe T. Okay, girl, she went back, pillow talked to the motherfucking replacements. The replacements felt big bad enough <laughs> to say something after production put a battery in their back. And girl, it has been up and stuck between Nunu and Anna Mac ever since then. Nunu has been calling out a fade with Anna Mac ever since that happened. And girl, they came face to face at the reunion. They came face to face at the reunion and they finally got into it. After all that ducking that Anna was doing on the show, no shade. After all that ducking that Anna Mac was doing on the show, after all that shit talking Anna Mac was doing online, after all that ish talking that Nunu was doing online. Yeah, yeah worse than my dad, I will have somebody piss on your mother's grave. I go for hell of why you don't know me, Nunu. I'm disrespectful. I've been all six months mad nice to you, bitch. I let you talk about me. I let you get on this shit, bro. As soon as the show aired, you got on live and you was like, I don't like Anna, bitch. I wasn't even on the show yet. You so worried about me but now i'm on that it's no more nice honor because i try to be nice to you at that dinner i try to be nice in general i was nice to you when i threw that lemonade on you ho that was enough leave me alone but i violated her off camera so she know bitch this is real life this ain't no tv shit this bitch only on that on tv she's not on that she's not on that so like i said <laughs> girl ever since that episode dropped where the girls got into it Nunu has been online i'm not gonna lie girl she like girl you cannot duck this fade at the reunion everybody else was like girl you can't duck this fade no shade you know what i'm saying because on the show it gave very much you was ducking and dodging girl you was tagging bitches in to do your dirty work you did not want to get in the field you was not in the pain you was the only one who refused to get in the pain you can't duck this you can't duck this fade no moho we at the reunion <laughs> we at the reunion now okay so child they were at the reunion and these two got in the paint and squared up okay let's get into what the two had to say hey this was no running around it was pink 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 no hair pulling this bitch was trying to pull my hair okay i got something for that this is look <laughs> i told you why you gas the bitch to get beat why you gas that bitch to get beat why y'all gas the bitch to get beat? Why you gas the <laughs> Antonio, you need to give your baby mama some more bread. Now these wigs is dookie doo. On the dookie. These wigs on the dookie. On the dookie for real. Y'all really gas them to get beat up. And yeah, I'm popping my shit. I was laying this little crackhead talk all week. She ain't even getting the paint for her mom. I said I was gonna piss on mom gray. Slap that bitch. Bitch not getting the paint. She cannot fight. Like, I told y'all she couldn't fight. It's because she... She tricked y'all when she beat up Dia. She was never beating me. I told y'all this bitch is not beating me. Look, I got this blood all over me and shit. <laughs> what are you doing? Nah, like girl, don't ever let these fans gas you up. You know who the five star bitch is. Ask let me who the five star bitch is. Ask Zeus who the five star bitch is. Alright, let's go, y'all. One thing about it, you already know when you get that installed up by Jonathan. Let's leave. That shit ain't going no fucking way. 
No matter who, baby. <laughs> no, no, you thought, boo boo. I play it smart, baby. She, she was trying to take my wig. Baby. She now this is not the same tune. This is not the same tune that Nunu is singing, child. Nunu is singing a whole different tune, child. Okay. Now she claimed that she got on a twice. Not not walked her down once, but walked her down twice. And if y'all don't know, now you know Saucy Santana was one of the reunion hosts alongside of Janisha and. <laughs> Girl, Saucy Santana came online and basically confirmed what Nunu said. Nunu said that Saucy Santana was basically clowning on the Mac for losing twice to Nunu. And then Nunu, like I said, she came online, she said that, and then Saucy Santana reposted it and basically said, baby, if we're going to be one thing, we're going to be so for real. I beat up. They were still screaming on the name. Saucy was like, why y'all saying on the name? Nunu just beat up twice. <laughs> like, delusional. So shortly after this, Nunu went into more detail about the altercation. She said that Automac not only used a weapon, but you know, she, she did a little sun to her face, but it wasn't that much. Child, let's just go ahead and get into it and then we're going to talk about it. I just got two scratches. Like, what we talking about? You didn't do shit. I mean, nothing. Like, I'm not going to say and just make up a lie. Like, I ain't going to say she was gushing out, bleeding. That didn't happen, but she was bleeding her mouth. She was. She was bleeding in her mouth. It was blood all the way between her teeth. Like, what happened? Like, Anna, Arnold, I give you your props for getting out there, but you didn't win, boo. I, but I give you your props, though, but you ain't win. <laughs> like, you know? Show what forehead? Why? What is y'all talking? Come on, like, what are we talking? Man, I ain't even gonna entertain y'all. <laughs> y'all is crazy. I was blocked from live. I was blocked from live. So it came on on the seven. I mean, even if I had a filter on that day, if there was something, it would still be there. Like how the scratches are still there. The scratches was there when I had the filter. They're there, there right now still. Like, it just, it is what it is. Like, you got hard, give you that, but maybe you didn't win. That's okay too. So you could get on live and you make yourself believe whatever it is your heart desire or the lies you like to tell yourself. That's okay. The first thing I felt from her, she had something in her head. There are no, there are not any rules in fighting. You are absolutely correct, and I ain't tripping about it. I ain't tripping because I still parked her. I ain't tripping because I still parked her with these, with, with a fucked up finger. You see my hand? I parked her still. I didn't need nothing. I didn't need nothing. I ain't need nothing. Like, like stop playing. They had to pull me off you. They had to get me off you. Then you had to tell them, get her off her. Then to get me off you, girl. Stop playing crazy. Child. And, it's, and you know it's so crazy? Because even that day, when I hopped on after the what's the name, I didn't get on here and say I beat her up. I had put my little picture, and I put what I put, because I ain't got to go rush to, to, for people to believe me. I ain't got to be the first one to the internet to be like, I beat you up. I don't, I, I don't care. All she did was try to run to the internet because she thought I was going to say I beat her up. No, girl, I don't, get, I don't care about that. So girl, in my opinion, I feel like this entire thing is so exhausting because it's just like, who won? Like, what are y'all lying? <laughs> One of y'all are lying. If I had to put my money on, on, on who won, I would put it on Nunu because me personally, girl, we all seen Automatic fight and girl, Automatic really, she can't get down like that. I feel like her bark is a lot bigger than her bite, but Automatic just seems very confident. Like, <laughs> It's either... She is either like, I don't know, like, it's like, Automac just seems very confident. It's either like, she won for real and what she's saying is true, or she came online, like Nunu said, she tried to beat Nunu because she did, girl, girl, Automac went live right after the reunion. So like Nunu said, you rushed online to try to lie and get us to believe you and you was confident in this and the third and stuff like that. And it's like, if that's the truth and you really got up there and lied like that on a mad girl, you're crazy. No shade because girl, you had me about to believe you for a second girl because you just seemed very confident. Like it's either like you're crazy and delusional or she really won. So it's like, I don't know who, to, I don't know because they're both telling two different stories. Like they're both telling two different stories.
on the outside looking in it's not looking good for nunu and i'm gonna say why and i really hate to even sit up here and say this because i was i don't even like <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know I don't care too much for Nunu, but I wanted Anna Mac to get parked and walk down at the reunion because I feel like that whole dodge, too many fades. I feel like she avoided getting in the paint all season. I don't care about that little scuffle with Mariah Lynn because honestly, it wasn't even a fight. That fight was weak and I was very uninterested in it. And me personally, I feel like I feel like Mariah Lynn was 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 cracking her in her head. Okay. Um a, a couple rounds. And I feel like she really ain't do much with Mariah Lynn. So I know she can't fight like that. So I just feel like, Nunu, if you let this girl, be, girl, I'm telling you, Nunu Green. <laughs> I don't care for Nunu, but like I said, I was looking forward to this because it's like, like Automatic said, I'm not even gonna lie, because Automatic called us fans out. She said, y'all gas her up to get beat. Y'all gas her up to get beat. That was me. Like, I, I'm not going to say I gassed her up to get beat, girl, but I gassed her up because I wanted her to get in the field with you because you were dodging. You were dodging. I don't care. I don't care. Like, you were dodging. But that's neither here or there. But, Nunu, if I'm telling you, girl, if you let this, if you let that little hoe walk you down, girl, I am so disappointed in you, girl. No shade. I am. Because there's no way in hell you let this girl... Who got done up in 7-Eleven by a 7-Eleven where <laughs> you let this little girl beat your ass up. <laughs> the same girl who was getting cracked in her noggin by Mariah Lynn. I just know you didn't let this little girl come to the reunion and 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 and, and girl and and I, I just know you didn't. But you know what? At this point, we are getting two different stories. Girl, one of y'all is lying because both of y'all claiming that y'all be, unless it was like a round where one person won and then it was another round where the other person won. One of y'all lying, okay? But y'all making it seem like y'all was just tearing each other out the frame and, and one person is saying something different and then Santana came out. But then, like I said, Santana also came out and said that Anna Mac got whooped on twice. So Anna Mac, which one? Again, which one is it? Like I said, because a girl on a Mac got on live and she got on live too confident for me. Girl, if you got on live that confident and you sat up there and you lied to our face, you're crazy, girl. Delusional even. You need help. Because, girl, you, like I said, girl, uh, girl, she had Nunu wig. And, and, and then if we, and then if we're going to look from another perspective, Nunu, it, I, and damage, I mean, damage means a lot, but at the same time, you could do something and not really do something. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just because somebody does not have damage don't mean that they got walked down. Don't mean that they didn't get walked down. And just because somebody may have damage, you know, that don't really, you know, because it, it take a, it, it don't take much to really cause damage. But baby, no, if, if we talking about damage, Nunu had more damage than on the Mac. Okay. Girl, you know what I'm saying? Girl, on the mat, got your wig. And just because she got your wig don't really mean nothing. That really just means that she pulled your hair. Okay? She got your wig. You, 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 got, you, got, you got damage on your face. Girl, if we look at on the mat right after the reunion, there was nothing wrong with her. So if we're going based on that, then it's not looking too good for Nunu. And then also an audience member also came out. And, and basically, it's it's so many different stories, y'all. Because I'm going to play a couple more things. Because Meatball, y'all know Meatball and Anna Mac are friends. Meatball got up on live and spoke about Nunu versus Anna Mac at the reunion. But she was kind of hinting. It's like, you know, like I said, they're friends. So you could tell that she didn't want to say that Anna Mac got whooped on. But she basically said that. She basically said that. But then an audience member came out. And said that security was on Anna Mac's side and that Nunu didn't really get to do what she wanted to do. Chad, let me play these clips. Who want Nunu or Anna be real? I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to keep it real. I'm gonna... That was a good fight. I sat up in that room. I said, <clears throat> I said, Anna, I ain't going to lie. You and Anna fighting, that's just not like. That's just I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't dare make y'all fight like that's just something I wouldn't do. You feel what I'm saying? Cause that's mm, it's not a fear. Ah, 
it's not a fair fight. I feel like you you got to line bitches up with bitches that know how to rumble. Like Tzatziki and Nunu, that would have been a... Uh, that would have been a... Yeah, that would have been a good joint. You feel what I'm saying? I know Nunu, that was a good fight. But I wouldn't have set it that up. You feel what I'm saying? As a real motherfucker, but... Anna stood her ground. I told Anna, I said, Anna, that's, I said, Anna, new, new shit sharp. Like, I don't know. She said, okay, am I shit sharp? I for bitches bigger at? Okay, okay, okay. She got on stage and she said what she said. And she started going crazy. What I'm not going to do is sit here and say who won and how it won and all that shit. Um, it definitely was, um, a good fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was a good fight. It was a good fight. I don't know who won. That was a good fight. That was a good fight. That was a good fight. Hey, opinion, I'm going to say this. I like Anna. Anna could fight. Nunu could fight. Nunu's bigger than her. Security kept making sure, like, that Anna was cool. Nunu was going to fuck her up. Like, if Nunu could have... Really fucked her up. She was gonna fuck her up, but I don't like. They was it was a it was like Nunu didn't just beat her ass. You could just like the way security was like making sure Anna was cool. She Nunu couldn't really do what she wanted to do. That's how I feel about it. Like Anna could, Anna need to stay where smaller girls. Nunu's not her. That's not her cup of tea. But she kept up. So it wasn't like Nunu beat her ass, but she kept like throwing her into the furniture and getting on top of her like the first time she uh, hit her and she fell into the couch and then she got on top of her and was punching her. But you got to think security. They going to protect that girl. <laughs> They're going to keep not letting her fight. I'm going to pop her shit because she know she protected. And that's what I'm saying. Like at this point, I'm confused, baby, because all y'all. All y'all got different stories. Like, I don't know who to believe. It's aggravating, child. All y'all got different stories. Nunu got beat up. Child, Nunu, uh, basically, not Nunu, but Meatball, you could tell that Meatball was trying so hard to not say that her friend got beat up. And she even said that Nunu and Tessiki should go head up. That tells me everything I need to know. And then the audience member said that Automag pretty much got, basically said that Automag got the best of Nunu because security was on her side and Automag was still protected and Nunu did not get to do what she could have to Automag. It was a mess. It was a mess, girl. All y'all got different stories. I'm just ready to watch it at this point. I At this point, I can't really put my finger on who won. Girl, I'm not going to make an educated guess. I'm not going to guess. Like I said, if I had to put my money on somebody, I would say Nunu because she's clearly the better fighter. But chill, at this point, I don't know because all y'all got different stories. Next. Girl, 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 girl. So Biggie is still on that punk-ish girl. I would just keep this real short and sweet because it's just it's still just so disappointing because i just wish this girl would just stand up for herself she stand up for herself she don't girl please so girl basically the replacements did not come allegedly the replacements did not come out of the reunion like they did not come out at the reunion until the last 15 minutes okay according to big kiva so girl j-o decides Oh, baby, you did what you did to Bianca. You, you don't know how to keep your hands to yourself, right? You did what you did to Bianca. You want to uh, basically sneak her from behind and, you know, not sneak her, sneak her, but, you know, you know, snatch her goggles off from behind while she's already into it with somebody else, while she clearly is already vulnerable. You, you don't know how to keep your hands to yourself. Well, baby, guess what? I'm going to slap you down. And that's exactly what she did. I did smack sparks out of the that I was going to smack. She want Big Dominican no more. It's Big Dominican. Why you do that to me? Why you do that to me? Because <laughs> I told you I was. Ho. Keep your hands to yourself, bitch. So, yes, y'all. J.O., you know, she smacked fire out of Biggie. Biggie did nothing. And Tessiki and Biggie and the rest of Biggie friends was mad, child. Because, yet again, Biggie did nothing. Now, do I care for J.O., who didn't even finish the season, 
nor was she really on camera, nor was she is, wasn't even present during this altercation between, you know, Bianca and Biggie. Do I care for J.O. inserting herself where it, you know, where she, do I, do I, do I care for that? No, I really don't. But at the same time, baby karma is a bitch. Like karma, baby, one thing about it and two things for sure, baby, karma is going to spin the block every single time. So do I care that, do I care for the fact that she inserted herself where clearly, you know, you know, it had nothing to do with her. I don't care too much for that, but do I feel bad for Biggie? No ma'am, no ham, no turkey, because last that I recall, you also inserted yourself in your nose in somebody else's business where it didn't belong. That had nothing to do with you. What happened between Bianca and Mariah Lynn had nothing to do with you, and you decided to insert yourself into that situation when Bianca was already getting ganged up on, baby. So you thought she was tough? Baby, her back was turned. She had just got snuck by Diamond and everybody turned on her in that moment. You thought that she was tough by doing what you did, knowing that she did not want to get into it? Baby, guess what? Okay, yeah. You, you didn't want to get into it either? You thought that she was just going to get a free check? You thought that you were just going to come to the reunion and not get touched, right? Because what, what did you say? When Tika Bella said she was going to smack fire out of you, what did you say? Oh, nobody's touching me. You thought she was untouchable this reunion and th baby, that's not what it was. It's not what it was. I feel like it was karma and I said what I said. And then like I said, for you, for you to literally put your, for you, for you to smack the goggles off her head. Like I said, when everybody was already ganging up on her, she made it clear that she didn't want to talk or fight or get into it with anybody. The fact that you did that in that moment where you knew she was vulnerable and wasn't gonna and wasn't really gonna defend herself, and you you was tough, you was real tough. And I, we already called you out, baby, because Jayla put her hands on you and you ain't even defend yourself after that. You ran off crying, but you felt tough with Bianca. And then fast forward to the reunion, and the gag is is that you got smacked over that and you ain't even defend yourself. <laughs> Girl, please. Girl, please, I guarantee you jail smack fire out of her and she played victim like she always do. And like I said, I like Biggie to a certain extent, but baby, I am not biased. I'm not biased. I don't understand why you ain't, why you ain't defend yourself. Girl, if I was test, and, and then word on the street, baby, word on the curb is that you ain't defend yourself. You got, you got hit. You ain't defend yourself and your friends were mad at you. Baby, why didn't you defend yourself? I'm confused. I'm confused. You let her, you let her, you let her, you let a replacement who wasn't even there, who wasn't even there when it happened, come up to you and hit you. <laughs> Biggie, you're a punk. Like, no shade. Like, I cannot stand girls who pick and choose when they want to be tough. Like, why are you picking and choosing so much? If you're going to be tough, ho, be tough all the time. Stop picking and choosing when you want to be tough. You were tough out on that field when you did what you did to Bianca, but then somebody smacked fire out of you for it and you can't even stand on business. There's no way. I don't care if J.O. came up to you and smacked you for no reason, baby let alone something that didn't even have anything to do with her. I don't care what it was about. The fact that you let that girl sit there and put her hands on you and you as a grown woman did not defend yourself is crazy. But at the same time, J.O., like I said, I'm not, like, I, I, I feel like it had nothing to do with J.O., but I'm not mad at J.O. for doing it. But J.O., what happened to you getting in the field with the other girls? Like, what happened? You out of all people, the only person that you smack fire uh, out of, like I said, I'm not mad, but I'm just saying, all that ish you were talking online about everybody, the only person that you came out and smack fire out of was Biggie out of all people, knowing Biggie don't fight, girl, please. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> like I said, I'm not mad at you for it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not mad at you for it because Biggie got what she got, girl, please. You know what I'm saying? Not mad at you for it, but girl, I know you did not talk all that mess online for you to only get Biggie. Come to the reunion and get Biggie. Somebody somebody that you had never even been in a scene with. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. It's just a lot of picky choosy behavior around here. I still like J.O. Like I said, I still like Biggie to a certain extent, but it's like, girl, 
why don't you defend yourself? Like, so you can insert yourself into something that had nothing to do with you, snatch somebody goggles off their head while their back is turned and they just got snuck, but you can't defend yourself? Girl, please. All right, so baby, let's get into Santana and the girls. So it sounds like the girls did not, well, child, not even all the girls, three of them, okay? So this all started when Mariah Lynn got on Twitter and was popping it about Santana being the host for the Baddies Caribbean reunion. So like I said, Chicken Little Mariah Lynn got on Twitter and she said, worst host ever, referring to Santana. Then Anna Mac basically shared this on her story, agreeing with what Mariah Lynn had to say. And she said, I basically saying like, you know, Mariah Lynn is right. What, you know, like uh, Mariah Lynn was right. He was a terrible host. Who did this? Whose decision was this? Who let this happen? Okay. And then Biggie shared what Anna Max said. And she said basically that, you know, agreed that he was a terrible host and said that he came with a hidden agenda. So baby, he was clapping back at everybody, especially Biggie. He said, Biggie, please, you ain't want to fight. You wanted to talk and your friends were pissed about it. You're not bigger than a program. Fight or hush. We laughed at Anna all night, kept fake passing out and walking off so she ain't have to <laughs> he said girl he said we left at on all night kept fake passing out and walking off so she ain't have to get in the field and fight mariah just get just get you an ice pack and relax so girl he's insinuating that all three of them is mad because they got girl <laughs> He said, Mariah Lynn, you go get an ice pack. On Mac, you're scary. You didn't even want to get in the field. You had to fake pass out and do the, oh, this and that so you could avoid fighting. And he said, Biggie, you didn't even want to fight. Girl. So Biggie clapped back at Saucy Santana and she said, LOL, why are you making me the topic of your quick moment you had with Zeus? I'm not giving no extras or replacements clout off my name. I'm sorry. Girl, it just sounds like you're scary. Like, girl, I understand like when you guys keep saying, oh, I'm not going to give a replacement. Okay, but a replacement came up to you and slapped you in your mouth and you ain't do nothing. So like this excuse is so tired. Like, Girl, please, she's she's gonna get camera time and clout off your name just by her getting, just by her slapping you down alone. Like you might as well just defend yourself. Like, I don't understand. Girl, stop trying to make up excuses for being a scary hoe. Like, girl, please. And then, okay, so anyways, so she says, I'm not giving no extras or replacements clout off my name, I'm sorry. Say what you want, but you're just mad because I'm getting big money. And my thing is, girl, how is he mad when you're the one that got up online and said that he was a terrible host first? You say, you you address him first. He ain't say nothing to you. And then my thing is, is baby, it sounds like you have more aggression and more words for him than you have for the hoe who came up on stage for 15 minutes. Keep in mind that the replacements came out on stage the last 15 minutes of the reunion. <laughs> or for 15 minutes, however long. But you let a replacement come out for the last 15 minutes on stage and slap you down and you didn't defend yourself. Yeah, you're online popping it at the host for hosting. It sounds like y'all are just mad because he came up there, did his job. It sounds like y'all mad because he told y'all about yourselves and y'all are used to hosts coming up there, Zeus host to be exact, coming up there, coddling y'all, and not telling y'all how they really feel about how y'all behaved on the show. But baby, it sounds like y'all just don't like, did, didn't like what he had to say to y'all. Saucy Santana then came back, reply, <laughs> replied to Biggie and said, quick moment with Zeus. I've had several. The difference is they always called me. You had to audition to be found. Please stop talking money with me, LOL. We already talked about this backstage, quote unquote, big money. Mind you, I got paid more than you to come on your platform, if you will, next. In my opinion, I feel like he chewed them up like... <laughs> I feel like, and, and I, I'm not going to say too much because, you know, he really could have been a, an annoying host. So I'm not going to say too much. 
But it just sounded like to me that he told them something that they did not want to hear. He probably told them about themselves and they don't like it. So, you know, I don't know what else to say about that. But, you know, he read them down. Okay. All right, y'all. So that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video and making it to the end. I know I'm a little late on the tea, but y'all know how I got sick and this, that, and the third. So hopefully you guys tuned in. Hopefully you guys stayed. I love y'all so much. If you stayed this far, baby, go ahead and drop a clocking emoji because I just feel like in this specific video, your girl was clocking tea. Okay, so if you stay to the end, heard me clock T, heard me talk my ish, go ahead and drop that clocking emoji. I love you guys so much. It's Messy Maya, girl. I'm out. Bye.